How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back to another review. And it is Imperial Belgian uh, IPA time in the form of Saucony Creek's Belgian Imperial IPA. So, uh, yeah, super excited to give this a whirl. Actually, I'm lying. I've had it. I picked this up from their tap room. I went down there this weekend, uh, did a little bit of filming, had a couple beers, and uh, had us on drafts, and I really enjoyed it. So, made sure I picked up a couple bottles to bring home and definitely review it. So, here we go. Uh, Sockley Creek Belgian Imperial IPA. Belgian style Imperial IPA, sorry. Um, 12 ounce ABV, 8% alcohol by volume. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it says here, unfiltered and unpasteurized. Keep it chilled. Belgian style farmhouse Imperial in your pale ale. So, there you go. A whole lot of stuff going on. Label, it's cool. It's very 80s, cheesy, hokey, but it kind of works for me. So, there you go. Du, 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 du. I haven't reviewed a sock in the creek beer. No, I did. Did their hop suplex, which is their double IPA, and I really liked it. Um, I haven't really had any beers that really didn't do it for me from Sock in the Creek. I did do a, um, a, a reserve beer there as a one off, and it was a Belgian dark, very spicy, but quite nice. The only one there is Snickle Fritz, which is, um, um, I believe, is like a chocolate porter, I think. I could be wrong. Not that it's a bad beer, just didn't do it for me. It's probably my least favorite of the ones I have reviewed. So, so yeah. Um, you know, what are you looking at there? Gigantic head. It's Belgian. Free fingers, just off white. Really nice creamy top to it. It's a beautiful, unfiltered haze to it. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Orange to a T. Touch of yellow. Super unfiltered. Super haze. Super haze, baby. But yeah. I'll try to get a nose off this thing. Um, well, I snort some, too. Wow. A ton of citrus and a nice spice to it, too. Yeah, from a distance here, you're getting a big Belgian spiciness combined with a, um, with a nice citrus. Actually, I just reviewed it. Um, haven't had it in a while. It reminds me of the um, Tank 7 ish kind of beard. Uh, Tank 7 from the Boulevard. Um, very similar. This one's probably a bit more powerful, but with having that one fresh in my mind, I get a little nice spiciness, nice hot presence from that. This is probably a little bit bigger than that. Uh, right around the same ABV though. So yeah, citrus and Belgian spice, baby. So yeah, she looks the part. She smells the part. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Mm. Like I said, woo. There's a lot of spice in there. Um, had this before. Drinks a little spicier out of the bottle, from what I remember, than having it on draft. Don't mind that, though. A little bit of um, more pine, a little bit of dank kind of hot presence coming through that wasn't there in the nose. Less citrus, a ton of spice. Very peppery, a little bit of coriander going on. Really nice mouthfeel to it. Probably a little bit too spicy though for me in the bottle. On draft, like I said, it was a little bit more balanced. Could be a date thing. I, I, I don't think they date code their bottles. Could be wrong, but I got this from the brewery and it's a beer they just released. So this could be uber fresh. Well, days old, really, it could be. So knock back that spice a little bit or give it a little bit of time to kind of mellow out and to kind of even out because it's a Belgian IPA so it's not like it's not going to age well it's not something you want to do long haul but I think once it balances out and that spice drops a little bit it'd be cash money rating wise uh, where it sits right now I'm going to give it an 84 um, it's just that spice is a little bit too big for me I like spicy beers but uh, yeah I just wish it was dialed back a little bit uh, 84 overall valued availability um, you know, it's Sockley Creek. Um, they do distri distribute out of Pennsylvania. I did not know that. Um, I found out this weekend. I could have looked that up, but I never did. Uh, and they get decent distribution. Uh, I think several states, maybe up to 10 states. So it can be found. And um, so for me, availability is 10 because I could drive there in an hour and get some. Value. Um, pretty sure this comes around 10 bucks a four-pack. Could be wrong, but uh, $10 a four-pack, I think it is... Yeah, well, I bought a four pack. I could have got six of them, or two of them, or one of them. Um, I think I paid ten bucks, which ain't too shabby. So I'm gonna give it an eight on value scale. So eighty-four, 
with keeping in mind that I think if I let this sit for about three to four weeks, I'd probably give it closer to a 90. Um, and uh, good value and availability, depending on where you live. If you like what you like this, if you like Saison farmhouse style beers, but you like a huge spice note to it, um, or conversely, if you like a triples, uh, golden ales, um, this kind of verges into that range a little bit, a bit more spiciness. And, uh, you know, if you like Belgian IPs, but you want some more spice, again with the spice, um, it'd be right up your alley. Mm. So, yeah. Really nice beer. Just needs, I think, a little bit of time to mellow out and kind of balance out. So, there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. If you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tap. Massive beers in all four of those places. And now that review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed a beautiful Belgian style IPA right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.